necessity told you to forget me? Now, I'm very fond of good sense, and I have a great respect for necessity. But I still haven't heard whether or not this good sense is sensible, and just how necessary this necessity is. Well, then, just listen, my lady. You call me Telheim. The name is mine. However, you think I'm the Major Telheim you knew in your own country, that flourishing man, so deserving, so eager for fame and glory, in complete command of himself, body, and soul. Glory and good fortune seem ready to fall into my hands. If I wasn't yet worthy of your heart and your hand, I had every reason to hope that every day made me more worthy of them. That was the man you promised yourself to, my lady. <laughs> I am no more that, Telheim, than I am my own father. They're both gone for good. Now I'm Telheim, the discharged officer, the man whose honor is broken, the cripple, the beggar. Do you still want to keep your promise to this Telheim? That sounds so sad. Still, my dear sir, you must know that I'm just so smitten with all those Telheims that this one will just have to do for me until I can find that other one. Give me your hand, you dear beggar, you. This is too much. I don't know where I am anymore. Leave me alone, Fräulein. Your kindness is torture to me. Leave me alone. What's the matter? Where are you going? Away from you. Away from me. Dreamer! I feel such despair. I'm afraid I'll drop dead at your feet. Because of me? Because of you. Because I'll never see you again. Because I'm determined, absolutely determined, that I will never be guilty of such a despicable act. I'll never let you do anything so foolish. Let me go, Minna. Let me let you go. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> 